What's going on YouTube world? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be vlogging another tournament. We are back here at Samstown in Las Vegas. It is a doubles tournament and I'm bowling with Ricky. He's another Moda staffer that you guys have seen in some of my other videos. So Samstown here in Las Vegas is running a doubles tournament that starts today and runs through May 2nd, I want to say. You can bowl any Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys are here in Las Vegas before May 2nd, come and, uh, and bowl. If you guys like this video and you want to see more tournament vlogs going forward, show me some love. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, you can head on over to LogoInfusion.com or IamBowling.com and use my promo code LEWIS and that'll get you 20% off your entire order. And then guys, down below in the description, I have a link to my Patreon. It is turning into an unbelievable bowling community. If you wanna get better at your game and if you want lane help, arsenal building, uh, video analysis, access to a members only Discord, access to a members only Facebook, hit the link down below in the description and sign up. It helps my channel a ton and you will get better at bowling. So for this doubles tournament, we are on a house shot. And then because of COVID restrictions that we still have here in Las Vegas, we are bowling only on one lane instead of a pair, which you can take it however you want, but it is what it is. A lot of people don't like that we're only bowling on one lane, but if I'm being honest with you guys, I would rather bowl on one lane than not bowl at all. So it is what it is. We're bowling on one lane. It's a typical house shot. And then it's just Ricky and I on the pair. So some of the balls that I brought with me are, I brought both of my purple tanks. I brought the desert tank, of course. I brought my pink yellow thrill. And then I brought my Jackal Legacy just in case, which I don't imagine I will need. And then my spare ball. Now, the reason I brought two purples and a desert and the thrill is because there's so much friction here at Samstown and not a ton of volume. So because of that, I already know that I'm gonna have to be playing closer to the right and more up the lane and stronger equipment for me here just typically isn't in play. I spoke to Ricky yesterday and he said that some of the balls he was gonna bring was his Venom Shock, his Fatal Venom and his Tank Blitz. I'm not sure if he's gonna bring anything else besides that. Ricky is still fairly new on motive staff, so he's still waiting for a lot of his bowling balls to come in. And then, of course, because of all these COVID restrictions, everything is a little delayed. All right, I'm going to take you guys out on the lanes now for some of this tournament vlog. I will do my best to keep you guys updated with game-by-game -game score updates.
So game one, uh, we both didn't do all that great. I finished for 225, Ricky for 187. Uh, for me, I definitely got to make sure I get the ball more up the lane. I can't miss left, and I really can't miss right. And then w what about for you, dude? Uh, I just need to get out of my own way and just throw the ball. Yes, get out of his own way and throw the ball. We'll be better next game. So game two was a lot better for me. I started with a pin up a purple tank and went seven pin, seven pin. Ball changed to that pin down one and it looked really, really good. Popped off a seven bagger for 254. Uh, Ricky was still in that tank blitz and struggled a little bit when he got the ball right. Partially my fault because of the carry down for 196. But I think you're going to start in the ghost. That fill ball looked really, really good. So one big game and you never know. Either way, we're tournament leaders after the first squad. Hey! <laughs>
So that last game was really, really good for us. Ricky finally got into the Jackal Ghost, and it looked amazing. I would argue to say that he probably should have started with it. Agreed. Just, yeah. Agreed. Just because the, the tank blitz didn't want to stop down lane. It was very, very continuous. Right. Once he got into the Ghost, it like got down lane. It stopped, went through the pins. Um, and it, when he was in the tank blitz and he missed it right and never saw it, probably because of the urethane carry down. Yep. Um, and then for me, once I went into that pin down one, it, it, it ended up being really, really good. So I finished game three for 236. Ricky went 245. That put our total at, I shot 715 uh, plus handicap. But I'm not really sure how much I get. And Ricky get, shot 628 plus his handicap, uh, which will be less handicap than mine. All in all was 1343 which is plus 143 plus handicap, which is not terrible. We went up every game. We went 412, 450, 481. Um, nothing to keep our head down about. We're probably going to bowl it again. Not today, but maybe in, in another week or so. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if, I'm down, you're, if, I'm, if you're down, I'm down. I'm always down. Let's do it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, Ricky, tell him, click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right there to watch one of his other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Click right there to subscribe. Sign up for Patreon. Sign up for Patreon. Till next time. Later, guys. Cheers.